we are gonna do a good old get ready with me. I have a bunch of new products that got sent to me from Hourglass, so I'm going to be doing a full face of that. But first, I'm gonna show you how I get a nice, good, beachy wave. I get asked all the time about how I curl my hair, so a huge thank you to Beach Waver for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna show you how I get some effortless looking beachy waves, and it's super quick and simple. I am not good at curling my hair. I could never figure out the clamp. I've curled my hair the same way with the same curling iron for 10 years. So this has really freshened up my curl routine and I love it. It's so good, you guys. So before we get started to prep the hair, I am going to use the Beach Waver Great Barrier Heat Protectant Hairspray. This smells amazing. So make sure you shake it before you use it. And I'm gonna hold it about 10 to 12 inches away from my hair. And I'm gonna Spray my dry hair. Oh, it smells amazing. I feel like this really preps the hair before I go through it with a heated appliance. You know, it has a hairspray kind of feel to it, so it doesn't make the hair wet, which is really great, so you don't have to wait for your hair to dry or anything before you start styling. And I do need a good hold. You guys know I have very wavy, frizzy hair, uh, but I like that this is very flexible feeling. It doesn't make your hair feel like straw. And then of course, with it being a heat protectant hairspray, it also creates a protective barrier from the heat, especially if you're somebody who heat styles a lot. Now let's get into the curling iron. I have seen this everywhere. I've been so intrigued and I'm here to confirm it's so awesome as somebody who cannot curl their hair or style their hair very well. This makes it super easy. So I've seen this everywhere because it's won over 50 beauty awards because it's not good. It has a ceramic rod that is going to protect the hair and then you'll see these little buttons right here. It's a ceramic rotating curling iron that does the work for people like me who don't know how to use a clamp curling iron. Also what I think is really important for any heated tool that I use on my hair, this has an adjustable digital temperature. So this is the lowest heat, medium and high. Today I'm going to use the medium heat. There also is a custom internal heater for even heat distribution in here as well. And I really see that every bit of my hair that touches this iron does get a nice even poop of heat. <laughs> All right, so let me show you how I do it. So I did go through with a flat iron and smooth out my hair really quick before styling. If you have wavy or frizzy hair, that's going to make it a lot easier and quicker. Though I have used this curling iron with my natural frizzy texture and this works great. I just use the highest heat, uh, but I want it to be extra long lasting today. You guys know I live in a very humid climate, so that's why I smoothed my hair out today. So let me show you how I do this. The very bottom of the iron, there is is a very small clamp, but it's not complicated at all to use. And I'm gonna put the end of my hair in the clamp. And then there's two different directions that you can go. So it might take a little bit of practice to get used to the correct button. And then you just, you let it do its thing like that. Hold it for like one to two seconds. And then you pull and release the clamp and you have a beautiful curl. We're just gonna let this set while we work on the rest of the hair. Now you can twist and turn the direction that the curls go. Uh, so you can have them facing forward or back. Typically I like half of my head to be going the same direction and then this, the opposite direction on the other half. But if you want yours to curl inwards or outwards, you have that option. Grabbing the next chunk. And you get used to it pretty quickly. I would say after the first time I used it, I was a pro. And it doesn't take that long. You see, it really does evenly distribute the heat to the hair. I actually think I'm gonna put it on a lower setting since my hair is already so smooth. Let's do the opposite side. So I'm gonna go the opposite direction with this. And we'll clean up the loose strands towards the end. I'm going to do this the whole way around the rest of my hair and I'll be back. 
to show you what I do next. All right, so I did the general curl through. I'm gonna show you how I make it beachy. Keep in mind, this is the curls at their tightest phase. So they're going to become more beachy as the day goes on. And I naturally, as you guys know, have extremely frizzy hair. I live in a humid climate, so I'm not going to brush out my hair with a hairbrush, though I do recommend that if you don't struggle with frizzy hair. For me, girls with frizzy hair, I'm gonna shake my hair up and down like this. You see, that kind of loosened them up and made me very dizzy. And then I'm gonna use my fingers and lightly finger brush. But I like to keep mine tighter in the beginning because they will fall so much prettier as time goes on. But doesn't that look so good even to start? So I will show you a clip right here of how my hair looks after a few hours after the curls have fallen. And you'll see we have those really be beautiful beachy ways. You can definitely get a head start by using a hairbrush to brush these out, but I definitely like to wait. I find that the curls do look really great second and third day. So if you want your curls to last longer, they also have the Second Chance Dry Shampoo. So this rice Space formula, it absorbs oil, it adds volume and fullness as well on those second and third hair days. All you're gonna do to use it is shake well, then you're going to spray six to eight inches away and spray towards your roots. And then once your oils are absorbed, then you can brush through. So I'll probably use this tomorrow to get the most out of my curls. But anyways, I have a discount code for you guys if you want to pick up anything from Beach Waver. I've also really been enjoying their shampoo and conditioner. Uh, so here's the discount code for you guys to use at checkout. Again, a huge thank you to Beach Waver for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into the makeup. So like I said earlier, I'm super grateful because Hourglass surprised me and sent me a lot of products and I have not tried as many products from Hourglass as I thought I had. There are so many different formulas that they sent me that I wanted to play with today. I also thought it was a good opportunity to bring out some products from Hourglass that I haven't used in a while. So let's get started with something that is really popular that if I have tried it, it's been years and I don't even remember. I think I've probably tried this in a sample size, but yeah, it's a new age. I don't know, I just feel like since it's been a while, since I've tried it and I don't even remember, my makeup preferences has changed so much in the last few years, especially given how much more makeup I've tried, so I'm excited to try this. This is the Hourglass, obviously, Vanish Airbrush Primer. This is really popular, so let's see what this is about. So this is the packaging, really luxurious as expected. I do have sunscreen from Mistine on my face for prep, and that kind of gave me a little extra hydration. But that's all I have right now, no moisture moisturizer or anything. Ooh, this is really smooth. Okay, wait. Um, I definitely have never tried this primer before because I don't remember ever trying anything from Hourglass that had this consistency. It reminds me of a smoother version of the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. Like it feels really similar to that, but I would say a bit creamier, maybe a touch more hydrating. I'll have to go side by side. They're both quite expensive products and brands, so. But okay, yeah, I see why this is popular, at least on first use. I'll have to continue using this, but that's nice. That is really, really nice. Okay, so I have no idea if this is going to be my color, but I've also never tried this before. This is the Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. It also has sunscreen in it. I'm gonna see the type of coverage this gives. If I need more, I will go into my Vanish Stick. So they sent me the shade Warm Ivory as well, so I'm not sure how the color is going to go down with this either. Going to use this foundation brush as well that they sent me. Since I'm a foundation brush fan now, I used to not like foundation brushes at all and would not have even wasted my time trying this brush in the past, but now I like foundation brushes, so we're going to try this. Oh, this is going to be way too light for me. I'm just going to put this on like the inner part of my face. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to really fully review this because this is not my shape. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just push it into the center of my face, kind of where naturally we would highlight. Oh, that actually looks really pretty though. It's a shame. Honestly, because it is so light coverage though, it really is not that bad. But I do want to mix it in with my stick foundation because that's a little deeper. Honestly, it looks really pretty on the skin. Like I feel like it looks smoothing. There's a little bit of it right here that didn't get blended out as well. That airbrushed over my skin just a little bit. I like that. I'm going to take some of the Vanish foundation stick though. I don't love this. I think it's a bit too thick for my preferences. Mine is honestly a little dried out, so. But I'm just gonna use a little bit of it to blend in with the skin tint. 
So I do like the Vanish Stick Foundation when I blend it in with like a lighter coverage product or a serum foundation, anything like that. But on its own, it is a bit too thick for my preferences. So it's perfect that I'm kind of mushing it in with this skin tint. This foundation brush is not bad. It's a little intense. Like I do feel like I want to go in with a sponge after this. I would say it's a touch on the dense side. So I'm just going to go in with a sponge afterwards over top. So here's how we're looking. Honestly, I think that that is really pretty. Now, I didn't get the full experience with this since I did mix it in with the foundation stick, but I feel like it gives a nice blurred appearance to the skin. Um, I am going to go ahead and apply the Vanish Concealer. I already own this. I'm not that big of a fan of it. I think it's a little heavy and settles into fine lines. So what I'm actually going to do... I have some of the Illusion Hyaluronic Acid Skin Tint on my hand and I'm going to mix the concealer and the skin tint to kind of lighten up the concealer and see if that does anything. I don't know, we're just playing around. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Hourglass Concealer Brush and I'm going to blend these two together and I'm going to push it on the inner part of the eye. Ooh, I like this brush. This is a nice soft brush. I'm going to lightly blend these two products on the under eye. That looks nice. A little dry, which is just generally how I feel the concealer makes my under eyes look. Keeping the amount of product a little on the lighter side. So I would say my under eyes look a little bit on the dry side, but we'll see how it settles and where. I really do like this concealer brush though. I thought it was perfect for really pushing in the product, but I feel like my skin doesn't look too heavy. It looks really, really good right now. So I have one last cream product that I want to try on my face before we put any powder down. So excited. I've been dying to try this formula. This is the Hourglass Vanish Blush Stick. I am stoked. Look at all these colors. I think I'm going to keep it neutral today. Because if we have a bolder lip color, I want to play with that. We'll see where the world takes us. So here is what the stick looks like. And I chose the shade Wonder. I think that this is just going to be a really great natural color. Let's swatch it. Hmm, it has some pigment. So I'm going to take just a little bit on the foundation brush. And I'm going to push it into the skin. Because again, I just want to keep it nice and light. I can always go back and add more. I probably will want to once I put a little bit of powder down. Oh, that's nice. Uh, let me actually try it like this though, just to get a feeling of the product itself. Okay, it's not too much pigment, which I like, and it's blending out pretty nice. It's not too creamy, which actually though, I normally do like a really creamy blush stick, but I like that. I'm gonna have to play with a couple more colors, but I feel like this is one that might have pretty good wear time. And it's not moving around the product underneath, and it's buildable, which is good. Oh, my skin just looks so natural and pretty right now. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. And keep in mind, most of these items are a first impression review on my end. Keep an eye out. All of these products will be posted in a speed reviews in the future, but... My skin looks so good. I don't even want to put powder on top. But just to set a little bit, I'm going to use my Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I haven't used this in a while. I'm not obsessed with this powder, but it's good. I'm going to try and keep it to a minimum, though, because I really like how my makeup looks right now. This powder, though, is really popular, so a lot of people really like it. I'm going to get the center. You know what? This powder is really great for lightweight makeup if you like a lot of creams because it doesn't sit too powdery on the skin. It really just does set the makeup without looking like you put too heavy of a powder on. So, hmm. see, I actually haven't used this powder in a while. And I've been into cream makeup a little bit more lately. So I like the way that this looks. It's not too thick of a powder, which is important for living in Florida. I'm going to pop a little bit of bronzer on. This I believe you are still able to get. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Universe. This is from the most recent holiday collection. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Hourglass, if you don't know, has the best powders on the market. I'm so serious. If you want to invest in a really good, beautiful, everyday powder, it needs to be Hourglass. Whether that be bronzer, blush, highlight, finishing powder, Hourglass has the best of them all. 
So I just put a little bit of that bronzer. Do you see how beautifully that blended into the skin? It has a very, very natural sheen to it that looks so gorgeous in real life when you're out in the sun. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue using this brush. This is a refer number five, and I'm gonna get a pop of the blush in here. Just gonna set the cream blush a little bit. It's a little bit more pink than what I used, but I feel like these palettes are not cheap, so I'm gonna get my use out of them. <laughs> I love grabbing these. I, I use these so often though. And then for highlight, this is one of my favorite products from Hourglass. This is the Ambient Strobe Light Highlighting Palette. It has the most glistening, beautiful highlights. This is like the most intense highlights that Hourglass has. I'm gonna go ahead and use this champagne-y one. And I'm just gonna put this on the high points of my cheek and blend it in. And then last step, finally gonna try this. This is the Soft Focus Setting Spray. This is very, very popular, so I'm excited to go ahead and try it out. Here's what the bottle looks like. Nice, fine mist. Mmm, refreshing. I love it. I usually do a pretty thick layer. I mean, I will say right now my skin looks fantastic, really natural. It might look a tad bit dry on the under eyes. Again, it's just the concealer. I'm just not a fan of it. It doesn't like my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do eyebrows because I don't have any eyebrow products from Hourglass and we will move on after that. So I went ahead and did this eye without you because honestly, I just couldn't wait. <laughs> I really could not. I was excited. I'm gonna use the concealer brush and I don't have any extra product on here, but whatever is left, I'm gonna go ahead and blur out the eyelid a little bit, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the same bronzer that I used on a blending brush. By the way, the bronzer's name is Glistening Bronze Light. Sometimes you're able to buy the bronzers in an in individual. And I'm going to blend that in the crease. I actually ended up doing a little bit more on this eye than I intended on. And then I'm gonna use one of the scattered light glitter eyeshadows that they send me. I did a review on these when they first came out. I think my mom has them all now, so I don't have any. So I'm excited, that's why I couldn't wait. I had to just put this on my eye off camera. So this is the shade Vivid. I got sent three other shades. These are incredible. Just take a look. And I definitely wanted to go ahead and use the green one because as you can see, I also used green eyeliner, so I thought it'd be fun to do a green look. I was gonna keep it really neutral on the eyes and do like a champagne shade and go crazy with the lips, but then I saw the green and I was like, that's it, you're going on my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go back into my brush now, blend the edges. But yeah, this is a super easy to work with glitter product. It's really, really lightweight, and it's still quite sophisticated even though it is a glitter product. As you can see, it just looks so beautiful. So these are a really great glitter option for mature eyelids because they aren't thick. They don't get clumpy on the eye. And then eyeliner. I think this is a newer product from Hourglass. These are the waterproof gel liners. They sent me five different shades and I've been into testing different colored eyeliners. I have like a chestnut shade, a dark gray shade, obsidian. Solstice is a lighter shade, but then I saw the shade Forest. That's when I knew I needed to use this. So this is what the eye pencil looks like. Okay, and it's not a sharpenable eye pencil. It is a twist up. Let me show you. So these have a really great glide to them. They're quite creamy. So as you can see, there's no drag on the eyelid. Now, one of the most recent eyeliners that I've been talking about lately is the Bobbi Brown The Best Pencil. For comparison's sake, if you're curious, these are definitely creamier, whereas I would say the Jones Road is more powdery. This one is a true like cream consistency. I like how easy it is to use. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my finger and sharpen this. And make sure you get in between the lashes and the tight line. Guys, this pencil <laughs> is so pretty. I've never used a dark green eyeliner. So I can't speak on the longevity of these eyeliners, but I did enjoy the application. It was a very, very smooth, easy application. You have a little bit of play time to, you know, smudge it out, blend it out, all of that. So I will have to keep you updated in my updates videos, but I really like that. Oh, I also put just a little bit like right on like the outer fourth of my lower lash line. And I took a refer number three brush and I smudged it out. 
See, you have playtime with this to blend it out, which I like. How fun! I feel like this is like wearable, but still a little different. And when you do looks like these, like whether it be navy, brown, green, it will help make your eye color pop. So if you look on a color wheel or an eye color chart for makeup, you'll see what colors make your eyes pop. I have brown eyes, so a lot of colors make my eyes pop, but this is making the brown in my eyes pop. Okay, we have the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. This is a tubing mascara, which I'm really excited about. I'm a huge fan of tubing mascaras for the summer, just because it's waterproof. So, you know, if you're sweaty and whatnot, it's not gonna smudge but also because they're easy to take off. That's what my biggest turn off is with waterproof mascaras is how hard they are to take off. These you just run some warm water through your lashes and they'll come off in little tubes. What the wand looks like. Even with tubing mascaras, I don't normally like them on the first use. So I might not like this and that's okay. I'm gonna have to use it more. I'll have to see how this holds a curl too. Hmm, honestly not bad. Let me do the other eye. Here's how the mascara looks. I'm going to actually not put on falsies today so I can see how this holds a curl. But I think that this is a nice mascara. I like it. We're going very natural today. Um, I have a couple lip products to mess around with. So we have the Voluminizing Glossy Balm. This looks really interesting. I have the shade Thrill. I got a few other shades sent to me, but I don't know. This is the one that I grabbed. It looks like it might be very dramatic. It has a twist up. Let's see. So a Voluminizing Glossy Balm. Okay, this is brighter than I wanted it to be. Okay, it reminds me of, you know, like the M Cosmetics kind of has a version of this. This one's a little bit thicker though. It has more oomph to it. But yeah, it is like a lip balm slash gloss hybrid. There's a little bit of mintiness to it. Good amount of coverage. Hmm, I don't think I wanna use this shade. But I also have a different formula that I wanted to try. But I wanted to test this out because it looked really interesting. Mm, it feels super duper hydrating though. I also wanna try a lip cream. I've never tried this formula either. So I think this is the color that looks the best for me. This is the lip cream in the shade Luxe Velvet Story. So let's apply that and we'll put another one of the gloss balms on top. Let's see, this is kind of like a mauve color. Hmm, this has a blurring effect on the lips. I feel like I needed to use a lip liner with this product, but that's fine. Oh yeah, so this is definitely a lip cream. It's not a liquid lipstick, so it's not going to set down or last a long time, but it's very comfortable. It smooths over the fine lines on the lips. So I feel like this would be good for mature skin. This color is very pretty, very wearable. I don't even know that any of these glossy balm colors are gonna go good on top. I'm gonna give Lucid a try. Lucid looks like it's a, it's a little bit more corally. I don't know. These are quite pigmented. I'm just gonna put a little bit on top. I mean, I do like these, but I definitely need to continue using these to see how they last because I worry that they might swim into fine lines outside of the lips. So that's something I'm gonna have to keep an eye on. But I mean, this is the makeup look today. I have to say up close before I zoom out, my makeup looks fantastic. This is a beautiful everyday look. I feel like a lot of these products are super mature skin friendly. Doesn't look heavy on my skin. Looks like a really nice light layer. My skin looks hydrated. A very simple yet impactful and flattering eye look. It was super easy to do. I mean, Hourglass, point blank, they produce really great products. And I knew this before, but I got to try a lot of new products that I'd never tried before today. And they've kept up their reputation with me, that's for sure. This makeup was super successful. So let me get myself together, zoom myself out, and I'll see you guys out. Oh my gosh, you guys, this look is so pretty. So overall, I mean, I did not try a single dud in today's video. Um, the only new thing that I'd never tried about before that I really feel like I need to test some more is the skin tint, but half of that is just it's not the correct shade for me. But Everything that I tried was so stinking good. This was a successful get ready with me. So a huge thank you to the team over at Hourglass for sending me all this stuff to try, even though I felt like I tried everything. That was not the case. I will have all of the products that I use on my face down below. <clears throat> Make sure you comment down below and share your favorite and least favorite Hourglass products. Give me your skin type, all of that details. Let's help each other out. And also a huge thank you to Beach Weaver for sponsoring today's video. You can see my curls are starting to 
settle in and I have this really pretty beachy wave. I like to keep the curls around my face a little bit on the tighter side, but ugh, it's wearing so beautifully. And the second and third day hair that the curler creates is also so pretty. So make sure you guys use my discount code for that. At checkout, I will have all of the information for Beach Waver down below for you to shop as well. And yeah, thank you guys so much for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.